Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome back to Sunless Skies. Welcome back. So, we are at London and we just bought our new boat, which makes me very happy. So, uh, money kind of tight right now still. I'm going to buy some more fuel over here. Then we're going to leave. But we now have our juggernaut, which we already hit. Oh my god, I freaking hate that. <laughs> anyway... Uh, today the plan is to find the last but not least of all the stations so we're gonna go in here it must be in here somewhere it's it, I feel it I feel it's there so let's go and find it and let's go what let's go and see what we can do with it because I, I just want to find it it's you know it's needed it's required it's the last one you know what I have a feeling this this thing turns around way oh yeah it's way slower to turn around than the other one. It just... I don't know. It jumps pretty well, but... I think it's way... Oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> don't do that. Way slower to turn around. Well, I'm not sure, but it feels like it. ka -ching. Well, more supplies. I'll take that. More supplies is always good. So... We already went straight this way, so how about we go up here more, more like, <clears throat> just go into the darkness. Oh great, it's, it's graves everywhere, yeah, it's, it's always fun. It has to be in here, right? We've been everywhere else, it has to be in here, I doubt it's over here. <clears throat> and it's not down here, I mean we scouted this area pretty thoroughly, so it's gotta be over here somewhere. Let's find it. Let's find it. That's that's the mission. And maybe we're gonna find someone, fight someone, just to see how well this juggernaut feels in combat. I mean, we have a hundred hull now, so well, we can pretty much go everywhere we want. And uh, unless we get into a lot of stupid fights, we should be fine. <clears throat> but yeah, the thing is, like the turning around is much slower. It takes time to actually turn around, so. Hmm. It's a bit obnoxious, but you know what? It's to be expected with a big ship like this. Also, it kind of feels like we're slower. I don't know if that's true, but hey. I'll start sending the bat out. The flare of foundries through smog. You are nearing the work worlds. Okay. We are nearing the work worlds. What is down here? Uh, down here is something. Oh, it's a bunch of these things. Okay. Let's loot them. And then you want to open a coffin. Or reduce... You know what? 74 to reduce terror? Let's do it. We failed, but we still reduce the terror. Oh, we lost 10 hull. Ooh, okay. That's obnoxious. <coughs> that's not so good. Well, yeah. That's a pain. Hmm. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can find something else over here. Looks like uh, there's a lot of machinery over here. I guess the work worlds are stationed over here. Find so found something else. I'm gonna go follow up on these things now that he's finding the things. Finding the stuff and things. Oh, uh, what is it? What is it? I see nothing. I see nothing. Uh, that's the assaying thing, isn't it? Oh yeah, we said that we can buy the assaying uh, on this boat. I think so, right? Um, let's check. Yeah, 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 we can get it in. This is this is good. Eventually. Not quite yet, but eventually. We can buy the assaying thing for the ship and... Uh, well, we can cash in the assaying stuff. <clears throat> now, just just find me something over here, man. Just, just find me something. It's gonna be right here, isn't it? Right somewhere over here. You're near the Orm world, Orm's world, and not when in Gillis where London is unloaded and time is rebellious. Why? What did you find? Bat found something. It, it doesn't show it on the map. Well, that's great. That's that's great. So there is something out here. I said it. Time is rebellious around here. Oh, we'll find it. It looks like it's windy over here. Let's get the bat out. Found something. It's a question mark over here. Well, it's not exactly what we're looking for, but hey. Are those birds over there? 
or it's just some kind of debris. This looks more like the reach to me now. <laughs> uh, windy paths like this, yeah. Yeah, way more like the reach over here now. Alright, alright. Feels more like home. Even though we've been in uh, Albion for like 10 episodes now. Just a couple of hours even. Uh, who are you? You're not a marauder, are you? No. Hey, are you one of those? Oh, okay, yeah. Well, that's that's great. That's 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 great. What is this? Approaching the boatman. Prepare to. Okay, board the boatman. Run close. Your pilot grazes the wreck's hull and has to reverse. Your navigator's hand slips while winching. The locomotive close. A clank resounds through your engine. So we have entered the wreck of boatmen, trespasser. Gained some terror. Okay. Uh, let's explore. What happened here? Light in hand, you wander the empty cabins and carriages. The floor of the boiler room is scar scarred with scorch marks. The captain's cabin is littered with pieces of furniture. There are bullets in the walls. There are no coffins aboard, but the hole is locked. A great groaning emits from within. Oh boy. More terror for us. So let's investigate the galley. There's something in there. A pot has been left on the hob, boiling away inside teeth. Oh great. That's nice. More terror. There's a grounding from below. <laughs> uh, let's investigate the engine room. One more terror. That we are left in darkness. Let's investigate the crew cabins. More terror. There's weeping. How about the captain's cabin? The room is spartan. The bed looks uncomfortable. Someone has arranged her pillows and a surprising number of moldering stuffed toys beneath her sheets in a semblance of a sleeping form. The only other furniture in the room is a barren written de writing desk with a journal and a pen abandoned upon it. There's weeping somewhere far away. We can read, but it's gonna fail. We can breach the hold, but we need 15 tales of terror. Ooh, okay. Well, we can try doing this. We failed. We gained some terror, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Let's flee. This is an unhallowed engine. Onwards. Whoa! Would you please stop, man? You go fight the boatman. Leave me alone. Okay. What is this over here? Is my question. What is this over here? This looks like there could be a port. This looks like a oh, Gorman swing. Okay. I like the idea of that. I think we are uh, closing in on something important over here. Maybe not. Let's send the bat out. There's a rack on the other side. Found something up there. I don't know what Gorman swing is supposed to do, but... Doesn't look like we, we can do anything with it. Yeah, unfortunately. Let's go to the wigs. Hello, wigs. We shall scavenge you. Uh, we're gonna strip her for repairs. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. Okay, let's turn around. Will we fill the whole sky with our dead, do you think? Yeah, probably. Probably. If I, uh, if I had to guess. We need 15 Tales of Terror. That's a lot of Tales of Terror. Also, what is that noise? Oh, that guy is completely... He doesn't know what to do, basically. He's completely wrecking himself. <laughs> oh, well. That happens. Question mark there, and uh, it's blocked away by some more of this growth over here. Let's send the bat out some more. We need to find something we can mine this right oh yeah give me some hours let's go find what the, this question mark here is hmm looks like this part of the sky is uh, yeah very full of wrecks I wonder why uh, we don't need repairs now so let's open the doors to the hold let's see what we found faintly luminescent cage Uncanny specimen. Okay. 
really there's nothing over here come on let's find something let's find that place <clears throat> we need to do it no questions about it bet please though please <laughs> that's all I want to do that's all I wanted to do in my life find that last port and then it's gonna be like here I'm gonna be mad if that's the case I'm gonna be mad please ah oh, yes we found it let's go oh <laughs> finally it's been a while Ooh, I like you what are you doing over here are you producing mists it's almost sounds like it or feels like it this is very green over here it's one of the greenest areas in here in the Albion the port should be close it's on the other side hello on the other side the Portsmouth house okay the Royal Society alrighty then this is the last one there you go the clockwise kingdom oh my god get in the clockwise kingdom has been done congratulations the airy pretty mansions of stone and glass rise above the wooden gardens while below machines were and grown a persistent sound of hammering pounds through the air the celestial exhibition let's go check this one out we can donate uncanny specimen we can donate otherworldly artifact we can donate a condemned experiment donate a searing enigma why well, that's a lot of XP you know what I'll do this I'll donate my searing enigma hey a bunch of money how many uh, condemned experience we have you know what you can have one of these as well and you can have my other one as well that's a plenty of money over here we have 12 other worldly artifacts you know what can we donate them in bulk, please? <laughs> yeah, we don't. We definitely don't need this many. They they must be happy with us. We're like, yeah, we have a full hold of crap that we can donate to you. Do you want some? And they're like, yes, please. Well, sweet then. It's like 50 XP each. You know how much stuff we're getting? That's, that's really good. I'm gonna leave a couple like three and I'm not gonna donate these guys because with these guys I can have an entrance to just the mayor so and that's that's a lot of XP we just got and also like 2k money <laughs> worth it okay let's go to the airy we've been at the Celestial exhibition let's check the Royal Society I will introduce myself yes please the mellifluous the mellifluous President greets you. He directs you your attention to the new marble on the floors, the cheerful portraits of distinguished Royal Society members lined in the hallway, and finally to the very large portrait of himself in his plush library. We do like captains here at Royal S. Royal S, huh? Okay. We need our space and, frankly, our comforts to think. But it's your brave soul who do the real legwork. Extremely educational. If not, our gardens are extremely fine, as is our conversation and the port. Okay. In Warden Wonder the Gond Gardens. Gonders, yes. Uh, I will write the port report first. Kaching. Let's wander the gardens. We succeeded. Good job. Uh, time has passed. Okay. There's a sheaf of papers over here. Oh, one minister stamp permit. Well that's that's useful. That's very useful. So attend a port reception. We need gratitude. Yo, I just brought you a ton of crap. You should be grateful. Attend the 13th, 13th? Okay. Annual Airy Dinner. Down on the game pie. This will grant you supplies. Guzzle the port. Reduce your terror. You know what? I will guzzle the port. Reducing my terror. Thank you. Uh, I can talk to a bunch of people. Lecturer in Imperial Affairs. They resent me here, you understand? I was a direct appointment by Her Majesty government. They dislike being reminded of who holds the purse strings. I believe you. Chair for the effulgent scientists. Okay. 
Are those limbs? Race? She smiles wildly. Something I saw last time I was permitted to use our great scope. Honestly, what's the point if you have to ask permission every time we move it? Did Isaac Newton need King Charles' permission to discover gravity? You know what? I have no idea. Probably not. Senatorial Professor. What's up, buddy? He reaches out to shake your hand. I shall endeavor to instruct you more kindly than I was. Hope I shan't give you cause to regret your choice. He smiles thinly. Now come to the tower whenever you wish to begin. Bring a permit if you wish to actually make use of the telescope. So we have a patron now. Okay. And we do have a permit. We can observe the clockwork sun. That's probably going to be terror, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Deliver the senatorial professor permission to move the telescope. Well, we do have the permit. So, uh... Sure. We lost it. Now what? Nothing? We can read his latest reports. Progress. Slow and inexorable at this, as the spinning of a spider's web, but progress all the same. A straight observation based on the patches of luminosity in the sky and the corresponding darkness between others. The constellations are politic. Great. Um, I don't have permits right now. Not anymore. This is fine. Let's go to Rochester's club. We need to do that. Clubhouse. Inquire into joining the Rochester's club. I'm, after all, a captain of skies. Or we can compete in the race. Interesting. I will inquire this. I need to prove myself. Okay. Oh, you were serious, he coughs to conceal his embarrassment. Well, should you really wish to join our merry company, you'll have to prove yourself a proper racer. Okay, the careless devilus in her smoke velvet well jacket appraises you carefully. You'll need to prove your mettle, my dear. Win one of our races and we'll be happy to admit you. Well, let's compete in the Rochester's race. We have a boat to do that, if that's what it is. Uh, Lord Rochester claps you on the back. Good sport, Dad. The rules are simple. Get to the destination port and back here in 30 days. You can call yourself a true Rochester racer. Savvy? He calls for order in the club room and gathers the others races around. A quick toast is raised to your health and then it's on with the race. Get back to Rochester's club within 30 days, having stopped at your destination in order to win the race. The floating parliament and return in 30 days. Pretty. That's like the easiest thing in my life. It's very close. I, I can easily do the race. No, no worries. Portsmouth House. Uh, okay. Portsmouth Arsenal. Here you can convert goods to experimental modifications, which can be exchanged for unique equipment. Ooh. This is interesting. This is interesting. I probably have. Yeah, I have visions of heavens. Otherworldly artifact. Yeah. Barrel unseasoned hours. This is cool. So what can we do over here? It's a good question. Peruse the designs. Unique locomotive equipment. Ah. Okay. Uh, let's uh, contribute another worldly artifact. Sure. Do experimental modification now. Okay, let's... Um, I will give you some visions of heaven. Sure, I will give you more visions of heaven. Because we have plenty. Uh, you can have my barrel of unseasoned hours. Why not? It's just money, otherwise. Okay. I will not ask you about your suit, because that's just not polite. You know what? You can have all of my otherworldly artifacts. That's gonna give us 10 experimental modification points. Let's see if we can do something over here now. Rosetti cabins. You need a double reinforced externally mounted ablative crew pods. Okay. Plating slot gravity hearts at least 25. Mighty pen defensive library system. Pneumatic library staffed with its own rat librarian armed with many tactical tomes. Uh, increases my armor and hold by extra. The mechanical Turk. Uh, mechanical chess player is in fact a hoax. It contains a hidden space for a skilled player to sit comfortable within and operate from within. Might have its own uses though. Auxiliary slot requires wheels up there. Increases your hold by one and hidden compartment by one. Eh. Proserpina. It's a mining array. Okay. 
increases your hold by four. Carmilla, it's a cannery. Uh, increases your armor. Hmm. Is this? I I don't even know what this is. Montresor's chamber. What is this? Secure chamber for our own private use. Okay. And amniotic crew containment. These are all nothing too special, I don't feel like. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, maybe not. Wait, do you need to pick something? No, look. I will return to Arsenal. Let me be. Okay, perhaps not over here. Perhaps not. Uh, what about the workshops? Talk to the engineers. Uh, visit the inscribed tinkerer. Repair your hall. Oh, we can repair over here. Uh, we don't need to, right? I don't think so. Uh, inscribed tinkerer can provide truly exceptional equipment from her shop if she likes you. You know what? I will give you what? Find an example of a correspondence of Trader's Wood, a Trader's Wood, Mosiri Muslim, and Pan. I don't know where Pan is. Favorite person in Pan? Huh. I'm guessing Pan is uh, in one of the other worlds. Okay, interesting. How about we talk to the engineers? Four smells arsenic can trade in cargo items when you can come in. Yeah. I have learned that. Let's see what they have at the shops. They sell tea. And they have supplies and fuel. Well, that's okay. That's okay. We're not going to be really buying any of those things. If you had the, like a special a saying item, I would have bought it. But, but uh, that's about it. Anyway, for now, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider dropping a comment down below. Share, like, subscribe, and see more doing magic. And I'll see you next time. Go crowd.